Alright guys, in today's video, I'm going to do another video here on theming, um, just because I'm a little interested in it. I thought you guys might be a little curious also. Um, so basically, this is really easy to do. I'm going to show you how to theme a ROM. So somebody else has already compiled it, made it, some developers come up with this ROM, whoever that might be. And I'm going to show you how to basically change the ROM that they gave you to make it more like what you want. Um, so what we're going to go over today is showing you guys how to theme these little toggles up here on top. These are your uh, quick toggles um, for Wi-Fi, uh, LED, turning on your LED, so you have like a flashlight kind of thing, um, and sound, Bluetooth, GPS, all that kind of goodies. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and show you guys how to do this. It's really, really simple. I already have this ROM installed on here. This is my Droid X just because it's an easy phone for me to kind of mess around with. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that. Um, this is right now is a CM7 ROM. So let's go ahead and check out my computer and show you guys how to edit these toggles. See, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change them up so they look a little better. Um, right now you can see like if you switch GPS it goes black, kind of, and then gray. So we're going to kind of edit that and change that around. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let me go ahead and start this process for you and show you what I have done. Um, basically, this is the ROM right here, which is a Puka, if I say that right, Puka CM4DX Gingerbread, blah blah blah. All right, so here's your ROM. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to use one program to do everything you're doing on here, okay, which is basically your file browser and I'll show you the program here. This program right here. It's called 7-Zip. Um, I'm going to attach a, um, a zip file to this video down below in the video description. It has all the stuff pretty much you see right here. So, But all you need is the 7-Zip program, so just go in here and then click on this and install this program. You're going to need that to do pretty much all the steps here. So let's uh, close this down. This is your program right here, so we're just going to right click on it, and we're, or our ROM. Right click on it and uh, 7-zip files, so we're going to look at it in 7-zip, and then we're just going to tell it to extract, and I put in like test ROM, da 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 da, and then hit extract, and I'm just going to show you guys where that extracted to, so we'll close this for right now, so then that got extracted to right here, test ROM, alright, so the two files you get are these, actually these two right here, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to find system and right here and you're going to again open with 7-zip and extract and then I put normally like to back out so we're, so we're in test ROM so let me do that really quick so we're going to delete all this until it says test ROM slash and then you would just type in system UI and hit OK, and then it's going to create, let me show you the file, this file right here, and this is the file we're going to be working in. I also did that with my framework uh, APK, which is also found in framework, and then framework dash res APK right there, and you can again do the same thing, open it in 7-zip, and then just extract it and tell it where to extract to. Um, and so both those files are here. Here's the framework APK, and here's the system UI APK. So in system UI APK, we're going to go to res, we're going to go to drawable, and we're going to scroll down. Now, I've already edited these, so you guys are on, on page with me. I edited all these ones, which are all your on colors for all those quick toggles. So I have a whole bunch of them here. So what we're going to do. I've also got them in this window. So I'm just going to back this window out and we're going to go back to the ROM we're going to be editing and I'm double clicking to open it but you can say open with 7-zip and we're going to go to where that's at which is systems apps and then system UI and we're going to open that with 
Uh, well, I'll just do it. It just opens with 7-zip. So it's in 7-zip. And then we're going to go to res. And then here. So basically, all you're going to do is you're going to take all your edited files, which I've already done over here in that extracted system UI. All these green ones. And you're going to hold control on your keyboard and highlight all of the ones that you edited. So I edited all those. I edited that one. And I edited one down here, I think. I edited this one right there. Um, and then you're just going to drag them into the system UI folder under res, under drawable, HDPI. And it's going to ask you if you want to copy them to archive. You say yes. And then you're going to back out of it, out of it, out of it. And then it's going to ask you these things have been modified. You want to update them? Hit yes. And it just updated those. Um, so you can actually see here that it's been updated right here. System UI has. And if you drill back into it, we can see that. See all these update lines? All these? These are all updates that I've done. All those files have been updated. Okay, so we can now close this out. And now this file right here has been updated with all your redrawn stuff. So let me just go back really quick and show you guys what I'm using to edit these files. It's, it's really pretty simple. So basically all you're going to do is you're going to click on this and say open with and I use paint, not normal paint, paint.net. Um, and it is a good program so it'll open up like this. And here's like my Wi-Fi one right here. Let's see if I can show you something. Here's the airplane. And the reason it's got dotted is because it's, trans it's transparent. Anything that's dotted is transparent. So all you're doing is normally these icons pop up like real small, like like that. So you just zoom into them so you can see them. And then you just do any editing. Normally what I use is this little magic wand here. And then you can select an area and you can then do whatever you want to it. You know, just color it a different color or whatever. I'll do yellow. I mean, whatever you want to do. Uh, you can do it really easy. Hit save. It saves it. Boom, you're done. Really simple to do. So we've copied all our files over. They're all pasted into the ROM we're going to flash. So let's go ahead and copy that to my phone. I'm just going to go ahead and do that with the USB cord between my computer and my phone. And then I'm going to show you how to install just like a normal ROM and show you the difference. So let's just hang on a sec. Alright guys, so I went ahead and uh, transferred the file over. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and reboot into my recovery using ROM ROM manager. Uh, this is like the Droid X second init recovery, I think. So boot to recovery. Go ahead and do that. However you guys get into recovery on your device, it's all relative. I mean, it doesn't. It's all the same. Really doesn't matter too much uh, how you get in there. So we're just going to go ahead and flash this edited ROM that I kind of themed those toggles on, and then we're going to go ahead and. Uh, flash the Google applications because it needs to flash those again. Now, since I already have this ROM installed and I'm just reflashing the ROM, I'm not going to wipe anything. Um, it shouldn't it shouldn't be a problem to not wipe anything. Everything should still work. So we're just going to scroll down to install ROM from SD card. Select that. Say choose zip from SD card. Select download. Select. There's my Pookie edited application or edited ROM right there on top. So we're going to select it. Scroll down to yes, and it's going to go ahead and install. Um, some of these ROMs might have an MD5 check, and if you're using something like Twerp, you could probably bypass that. Uh, if it has an MD5 check, I don't think this way of editing will work, but I don't think most ROMs don't have that, so it's not really a huge issue. Um, so it's going to let's install and flash my uh, Google applications, and then I'll just show you guys the finished product. It's pretty much it, it's really simple. All right, well, I just flashed my Google applications and rebooted the device out of recovery. Um, now, the nice thing, because I didn't actually wipe data or factory reset or anything like that, every all my settings, passwords, everything's still there. You edited the um, ROM, but you really didn't have to mess with your phone too much. I mean, everything's still still on there. You could have a problem where you might have to do that, but hopefully not. You see, how it, it even booted up really fast. You see that? Because doesn't have to rewrite all that stuff and do everything. Now, this just came up because I don't have a SIM in this thing. It's not activated. Don't worry about that. So let's go ahead and unlock it. And let's go ahead and see what we got here. Pull them down. Okay, so you can see anything that's on is now in green, not gray. So even if we turn like the flashlight on, 
see it change to green. Bluetooth on, turns to green. And turn things off, and they change back to black basically. So that's pretty much all we edited right there. Um, it's not all that really too much, but um, just to show you guys how to do it. Now I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to give you a comparison here. Can you tell the difference between the lightning and the Wi-Fi? Let's see if I can focus for you. If you guys can see the difference. Um, the um, lightning is a solid color and the Wi-Fi is a graded color. So you can see towards the bottom it's a little lighter. Um, just some different you know things you can try. I just tried to just see what it looked like differently. It's not too much difference because it's not a big icon, but still pretty pretty cool that you can do it. So that's pretty much it, guys. You can do this with System UI. You can do this with Framework Res. Anything that's that uh, Res and Res Res slash Drawable HDPI is basically the files you want to be messing with if you just want to change the look of your uh, device. This is my Droid X right here, and that is a basic way of theming a ROM zip that you download off the internet on your computer. Pretty easy, pretty slick. So if you like, don't just don't like some certain look in your ROM, go ahead, change it up, man. Change it up and uh, do what you want, and that's the whole fun of uh, Android. That's the whole great thing about the customization you have right here with this device, or any Android device. So I hope you guys like this little video on how to theme a ROM. And uh, please stay tuned for maybe a little bit more like this. I might get into this even more. We'll see how it goes. And I'll try to keep you guys up on speed on what I'm doing. So, hope you like it. And as always, please check me out right here by my thumb at uh, RootJunkie.com. Tons of great information on there. You can follow me over here on Facebook or Twitter. And as always, links are going to be in the video description down below. Specifically for this paint program right here behind me. And, uh, and it's 7-Zip and anything else you guys are going to need to do this. So, hope you guys like it. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.